So what happens when the Yeezy Pirates and the Yeezy Cream Whites get together and have a baby? Bingo. You get the Yeezy Zebras. And they restocking Friday. So let's check them out. Sneaker notes. They call me notes, huh? I said they call me notes, huh? That's what they screaming at my shows, huh? Get a pen and take notes, huh? They call me... <laughs> what up, what up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your guy, C-Notes. Thank you for checking in, clicking the video. If you're new to the channel, there's a subscribe button right there. Look like a Supreme sticker. Just hit that for me so I can keep you in tune with the latest sneakers and the latest streetwear. You've seen the intro, so you already know what we're talking about today. It's a Yeezy day. Um, the Zebra V2s are restocking this Friday, November 16th. I got them early. Overseas Connect. Um, they were they were supposed to drop last week everywhere, but the U.S. retailers pushed it back. I don't know how to do something with Adidas, but they're coming out November 16th. I got them early, went through an overseas connect. Shout out to you. Y'all learn more about that later in the video. Um, besides the Zebras, Black Friday. This is Black Friday. The um, Yeezy is dropping the Sesames. They look like this. Yeah, so right here is the Yeezy Sesames. Um, one of the dopest names for the dopest sneaker because it actually makes sense. That is pure sesame. That looks like the sesame seed on a McDonald bun or, you know, any any hamburger bun. So the, the color to the name is a clash. But haven't we seen enough Yeezys in that, like, kind of funny colorway where you got to go out and get like a clothes to match the sneaker. Um, we seen the um, blush 500s. Um, you can go back and check my review on that. Looks similar to that color. Um, but I think it's a dope shoe. It's not on my top list of Yeezys, but I think it's a dope shoe. In that comment section below, let me know what you're looking to cop them um, Yeezy Sesame V2s. Again, if you are, Black Friday, they drop it. Other than that, Jordans are coming out left and right, and Jordans are sitting left and right. You know me, I don't care if a sneaker sit. That doesn't change my mind on a sneaker. Um, for instance, the single day Jordan 4s, those came out last week, and I thought they was dope, but they were a woman's shoe. They weren't dope enough for me to cop, but you know I love red Jordans, and um, I think those are a good sneaker, but those are sitting. Crazy man. Um, other than that, we got some Jordan ones coming out, and um, Jordan one is doing this thing this Saturday. The Jordan Rookie of the Years are coming. I got them already, but I might not get them till Friday. I hope I get them Friday so I could do the video, upload them, and then y'all can know if y'all want to go out Saturday morning and cop them. But the Jordan Rookie of the Years are coming out this Saturday. They look like this. And um, I guess y'all know the story of it, Jordan, Rookie of the Year. The sneaker is like a testament of his rookie season and, you know, all his accomplishments and, you know, all that stuff. Um, not one of my favorite Jordan 1 colorways. I really don't like that color at all, but I'm a Jordan 1 fan, so um, I had to get them. So, hope those come Friday and we get into that. But, <clears throat> we're here to talk about the Zebras today. But before I could do the review on the Zebras... You already know what we do here at Sneaker Notes. It's the What's On Foot segment. So this is where you, the viewer, that's watching this video right now, go down in that comment section right now and tell me, tell everybody watching the video, what, what heat you rocking on foot today. Um, I got on a black and white, you know, not to misconstrue because I was doing the zero review, whatever. Check out what I got on foot. My force, cut with laser, look at my whore, that is your lady, look at my flow, making y'all crazy, making y'all sick, y'all cannot tame me, Lexus drive me, made back payments. My joint tied up, snap back. Yeah, so I kept it classic, OG. When the single days came out last week, I said, let me look at my collection, because I know it's some fours I ain't wearing a long time. So I decided to put on the Oreo Jordan 4s, um, one of my favorite colorways. 
I don't like the paint splackle, splackle on the sneaker because it makes it look like a kid's shoe. But this one, it fitted genuinely on that gray. So again, I got on the Jordan 4 Oreos in that comment section below. Let me know what you rocking on foot. It could even be slides, man. You know, I'm a big fan of slides, Adidas, Nike. So just let me know what you rocking. Now, without further ado, hit the intro. Unboxing time. The 350s are back. Like I told y'all before, they coming out this Friday, but I went to the Overseas Connect. Shout out to s and s That's short for sneakers and stuff. They always look out for your boy, man. So, your regular brown paper bag, 350, easy boost material, size 10.5, so let's all say it together, that means they belong to me. So, um... Shout out to Yeezy for keeping the box original, but I think every time he go up a number, he should change the box. It's not too much to ask. 350 should stay like this, granted. Let me show y'all something real quick. When Yeezy first, first, first came, you have to see 10 and a half, Yeezy 350. These are the Pirate, Bla Pirate Bay Blacks. You see this box? Had a little different look, right? had to pull out like that so we can see how the Yeezy box evolved the color just didn't change but I think with the 350's it should stay brown but I think when he went up to 500 it should have switched colors and then when he went to 700 it should have switched colors but even the V2 and the 350 should have had like a different kind of box if you ask me but that's just my opinion in the comment section below, let me know how you feel. I know some of y'all agree. So, let's pull these zebras out. We're going to start with the left shoe. Let's get that 360 view. Now, when these first, first dropped, I didn't get them because, granted, I had the black pirate bay. I had the cream whites put it together, you get the zebra. But, this does more than it actually looks like it don't. This, this red supply 350, whatever the SBPLY stand for, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with supply. But I'm in that comment section below, let me know if you know what this stands for. But this pops a lot. And as I was seeing it more and more on people's feet, I felt like I had to get those, but at that time, the uh, resale rate was 500 550 and on top of that, Yeezy kept dropping, so I was like, I'm going to wait, they're going to restock, and look what they did. So, let's we'll start with the back of the shoe. You got your pull tab here. We already know why the pull tab right here is, 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 is like, you know, talked about, because when it came out with the Belugas, the Belugas didn't have his pull tab, and that's how we got the 2.0 in the pull tab. You pull that down, and you got your three stripes right there. Right? We already know the bottom sole, all boost material, and I, that's ivory white. You can't get no whiter than that. You know Jordan 1's like to use <coughs> cell white. This ain't cell white. This is white. All white. All right. We already talked about the red SPLY 350 right there. Really, only thing that stands out and pop on the shoe. You got your zebra print starting there, coming all the way around to the toe box, soft toe box, soft tongue. Pull the tongue over. Got like a rubber new buck material right here. 
and you got your classic white easy shoe strings. Pull the right side out, and the right side is usually the shoe that has your Adidas tags, you know, your Adidas size converging, Easy Boost 350. I never took the time to read these, but it just has the size and, um, you know, UK, China, US. Well, nothing different on this one. The same zebra. Now, honestly, besides these Yeezys, the only other ones I'm looking to restock is the frozen yellows. And I heard rumors that they're restocking in December. So once that happened, I'll get those also. I didn't get those when those came out because when I first looked at them, my first, first thoughts was, uh, glee. <laughs> pictures, seeing it on people's feet, man, them sneakers really growing me, so those are the next Yeezys I'm looking to cop, but today we got the Yeezy Zebras restocking this Friday, if you want to cop them, matter of fact, let me give y'all some information, because um, what I hate is when a shoe tuber makes a video telling you how to cop something just to put out content for the day, it, it really kills me, but um, right now, Go to Foot Action app, Foot Locker app, Champs app, and even Finish Line app, and try to get a pair, um, get a pair, you know, on hold for Saturday. So go to any one of those apps right now. They have these Yeezys coming out this Friday. So try to hurry up and go do that. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, Barney's will have these. Who else will have these? Um trying to give y'all all the information. Of course Yeezy Supply, but the thing with Yeezy Supply, you don't know what time they're going to um, actually put them out. So if you up early Friday, just keep your eyes glued to Yeezy Supply. And of course Adidas.com, but Adidas.com, you'll be in that waiting room for, for weeks. <coughs> Can I speak to Barack, please? Barack, the president, yes, I want to talk to him. Who, who am I? Yeah, I exaggerate a little bit, but you, you'll, be, you'll be in that waiting room for too long, man, and we all got real life stuff going on. But again, Yeezys, Zebras, Boost Technology, I'm your boy c -Notes. Thank you for clicking in, man. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, comment. Let me know what you rocking on foot today. Let me know if you in the game for these this Friday. Other than that, man, get rich. Herzog and Adidas, man, you know they love it. If Nike ain't had Drizzy, man, they wouldn't have.